have something like you all have said physically in hands instead of like oh it's there for a while I can read it for a month oh it's gone yeah <laughs> you have a sense of ownership with it with, mm-hmm. with the yeah. hard copy because you and it's something uh, it's something to really, hand down to the you next really generation own that piece of paper that you know you yeah. can give to your kids and you're exactly. just assuming that you're the lucky ones what I tell my little <laughs> ones all the time <laughs> right? don't touch those books that's your inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there with a the turn of a page. Do you want to know how much screen. Daddy wouldn't talk for yeah. those things? <laughs> well, that's the same thing like with card games. I mean, if they decide to go digital with card games, oh, good crap. luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. But still, you're taking the fun out of it because, like, oh, you know, yeah. for example, in Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, no, no. I've got this rare, you know, tour guide from the underworld, but it's only digital. Can be well, stolen really quick. It's not the same as, uh, as as holding well, it in your yeah, hand. Yeah, hold on, hold on. You know, hacks. <laughs> and then, yeah. what if somebody has a really slow com- com- computer? Okay, I made this move. Two hours later, all right, here's the counter move to it. Uh, <laughs> makes it more okay. fun. No, well, yeah. What, what a, the biggest thing about it, when it comes to card games anyway, is it's the person-to-person interaction, not peer-to-peer. Yeah. It, exactly. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm never going to see a group of people get online to go to a regional competition. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the regional in Seattle, guys. Uh, click, 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 click. No, it's, it doesn't happen like that. You know, that's um, just the awesome part of it all. Yeah. Especially when you get like regionals, I mean, the trips there, the, the it's, whole it's meeting the people. Then meeting it becomes people. not necessarily the card game, but the experience. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly the same concept with comics, comics itself. Yeah. If you can't come to a shop and BS with a customer for an hour, yeah. there's no point in it. Yeah. I was online reading the comic. You should have seen it. No. <laughs> Man, I had a Hold great on, time. Let me turn the volume you know, of Skype up a little. Right on. Um, so let's see, what have I read That's this week that I really like? Oh, let's well, segue into this. So Andy! So Andy! Wink, wink. What have you, you read? Segway. Segway. <laughs> if I'm actually on a Segway, shoot me. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what did I read this week that I really liked? I am actually really falling for uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. I, uh, I, I, you know... I remember when they when I heard they were killing off Peter Parker for Ultimate Spider Man. And yes. uh, oh, what? he was getting And why am I still here? I, <laughs> you're you're in the regular universe. You're in the standard, you know, the universe. Oh. The universe. No no die universe. Yeah. Big big villain, no die. <laughs> we like to live. You're in the no, classic no. Coke yes. universe. Yes, that's right. Yeah, the blue universe. universe. Yeah, the um, new Coke, the, the the white can polar bear. Like I remember the one that universe. people hated, so we went back to classic. Yep. yep. Okay. Didn't last very long. But anyway. Um, <laughs> so is this how Ultimate Spider-Man really is then? Well, no, let's find actually, out. <laughs> I really like Ultimate Spider-Man. I mean, when, I, I didn't really care about the Ultimate spider the, when P1 was Peter Parker. I didn't really care. It was like, whatever. But when, I, when, they, when they killed him off and I saw that first poster of Miles Morales as in the new Spider-Man outfit, I really like that new costume. And I just like the new take on the character. I like the new personality. Yeah. Um, the most recent issue introduced a really cool new idea for the Scorpion, as opposed to just some another guy in a green suit, you know. A bucket of acid on his back. Yeah, and a it's. Tail. I, I like it. He's, he's like he's like a gang kingpin who has like this giant lawn chain with this thing around the end that he uses like he's. It's kind of a cross between Bane and Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Come here! Get over here! <laughs> um, so that one was really good. Bane I read. Say nothing. <laughs> Between Bane and Scorpion. Okay. Okay. My my favorite comic I read this week was Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I never thought I'd hear myself say those words, but Curve. with um, <laughs> you got us. With, with, with with the rapport between Johnny Storm, who's alive. Oh. We all know that anyway. I know it's a revelation for me. Give me some room. Look, it's alive. Captain America. <laughs> was crap. Really? That guy ain't dead for real? Oh. Did you really think they were going to bring him back? I'm the human torch. Well, the, the technicality in that issue where he dies, quote unquote, they see you see the doors closing. You don't actually see him get pummeled to death. So that just left it open. They the black bagged it. I quite liked. Then the, again, uh, I could really care less. I'm talking about the human torch. Sorry. Yeah. Fantastic Four, man. Anyway, um, but the rapport between Johnny Storm and Peter Parker was hysterical. It was just. There's so many great gags in that, but I can't even oh, remember yeah. them off the top of my head, but there were some really great ones. Um, oh, yeah. They, uh, Spider-Man always has good one-liners, which I hope they accentuate in the new new movie coming out. Yeah. Because that was sadly lacking in the Raimi films. <laughs> not not to the degree it should have been, for sure. Yeah. So I like that. Um, Action Comics was oddly disappointing. I was really <laughs> excited. Oh, oh, Action Comics, what happened? 
for like for like four issues. Oh. It was like the most amazing Superman stuff I'd ever read in my life, and then all of a sudden it just screeched when he started. Oh, I gotta retell the for, origin story. For, for the longest time, I, I avoided Action Comics and Superman like the plague. <laughs> e ever since the the Pee Wee Herman cover, which <laughs> yeah. I will, chances are I will definitely be linking that oh, to God. it, just so you understand why. I, Every week it was just look at me, I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. soaring. <laughs> it, it, well, yeah, it was kind of like that. But I when, they, when they restarted the new Fifty Two, I remember everyone was so worried about this. Or like everyone thought it was a bad idea. I, I even asked Andy about this. Well, actually, technically, Andy asked me, <laughs> and I had a very open mind about it because I was just like, it's something new. I'm going to give it a shot. Action Comics definitely put stuff on, you know. On a different level, uh, with the number one and with the first couple of months, it was out. It was just out of this world. It was I mean, great. it was Superman in a way that we had never read him before. At least we hadn't for a really long time. Yeah, this is a Superman who kicked a lot of ass. He yes. was a really tough guy, who you know was running around the city of Metropolis, beating up you know corrupt business officials and you know stopping domestic violence. I loved all that stuff, and now it it's getting into more of the. Grant Morrison is completely insane territory. Well, well, yes. They start out with, you know, he's blue jeans and a t-shirt and a cape. Greatest costume ever. Uh, exactly. There's nothing more related. He looked like a steel worker, and that's that's what really worked for him. He's related. He's the man of steel. You look at a man that, you know, can run faster than a speeding bullet, you know, bat, you know, hop, hop over buildings. And if he's in a shirt, you can relate to him. You know, if he's, if he's in... Spandex, you're like, yeah, he's a superhero. Go away. You know, it's yeah. just kind of, it's it's kind of like that. Um, with with the first five issues of action, yeah, they they did a great job of uh, showing Clark Kent and I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really relate him to Spider Man right now, like Peter Parker. Like he, he does kind of have that Spider Man attitude going he, on. He, he he really does. He he really does take on that persona and. No, but and they get to how you know his origin story, how he got here, and then they just jump off the the, the deep end, just like we have time travelers that came back and stole stuff. It's like, yeah. wouldn't that negate the future of them doing that in the first place? <laughs> no, but what happens with action is, like I said, when he was bounding around the city, when he got hit by a bullet train. Oh my god, that was so that the, was so epic. Exactly, pinned to the building. I'm like, it showed that the man had weakness and. I like them taking away his ability to fly initially. Yes, that was great. I thought that was great because, you know... Technically, in the original comic, he was just supposed to leap, leap. over yeah. a tall building. Yeah. Not fly! And they, and they found a way to bring Brainiac into it as a technology of the pod that yeah. brought him there. I quite cool. like that. Yeah, and yeah, it was great. I thought the, they found every way they could incorporate it into it, and they, they brought the Collector into it. Which, you know, look at this planet, let's grab as crap as we can and move along, you know. Yeah. And but you've taken the planet out of its package. It it's no longer in mid condition! Yeah. <laughs> it was really good until they, until they brought out the origin story, and I felt like, you know, I just, honestly, I'm getting tired of Superman's origin story. It's been retread so many, so many, so many well, times. Well, yes, and where I can, I can agree with you there, but with this new 52, it had to happen. Um, but with the, so. with the origin, I loved how they covered up what came in the craft. They they used a uh, deformed a deformed uh, baby calf. calf yeah yeah, yeah uh, you know, baby cow a calf and uh, you know I'm pretty sure they got money out of that one but no what what I didn't like uh, after they get him flying again and after that origin story is it's, it just it, it it just feels weird it doesn't feel like the same story yeah, I feel alienated I really do it's just like get you're it? in the shower yeah. you're like, oh no um, you, you're trying to wash off the the dirty <laughs> with this one and it's yeah. just it's bad I, I felt I was I was really excited for it and then I read it like number six and I'm like Ugh. yeah it, it's it's kind of become a book that's kind of it started off with a lot of with a lot of momentum and it's just kind of I think it kind of crumbled under the its momentum own was weight. speeding a locomotive. Now, well, let's move on to something I know you're going to enjoy. Okay, Batman. Yeah. Uh, New 52 Batman. Okay. You know, I'm not, I don't really like Batman. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I can really crawl walls. Okay. <laughs> Enough about mediocre superheroes. Let's talk about Batman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry, uh, Bats. I've got the Avengers stuck. on my side. Who do you got? A little boy in tights. Okay. I hang out. I, Batman beat up Superman. So I think he can take Iron Man. 
Uh, as you were saying. So, um, let's see, what Batman comic came out this week? Detective Comics. Yes, Detective um, came out. Well, you know, Detective Comics has been a book that I've really enjoyed, but I also kind of hate it. Um, to, to make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, I love hate. I it's a love, very much a love hate because you know it's a hot cold pad. Yeah. <laughs> I love to hate it, anyways. The uh, Tony Daniels is a really great artist. I'll say that right off the bat. The man can draw Batman as good, if not better, than any of the really great artists we've ever had, like Jim Lee, Marshall Rogers, Frank Miller, Neil Adams. Any of the really great Batman artists, he can draw Batman just as well. His writing leaves a little something to be desired. Um, <laughs> as he pulls, like he's the, there. pulls the knife out. Uh, better be uh, in that old what? dusty trail. <laughs> that was more like a freaking constipation. <laughs> yeah. That's, well, how, that's how I feel when I read it. I get a pass of kidneys. He's stuck up in there. I mean, his writing is really simplistic. It's really straightforward. There's not a lot of depth, not a lot of really complex goodness to it. It's kind of like a dope story. It's just a dope comic where it's just fun to read, but there's not a lot there. Um, on the other end of the spectrum <laughs> is Batman. Yes. The Mike, Mike, Mike and I have been loving that story. Oh, my um, God. I don't yeah. know where Frank, where uh, Greg Capello has been all my life. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I wish you but, were uh, here if listening to this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Andy came in with a, a little Valentine on saying Greg. Greg Capullo. <laughs> and, Team uh, Greg love, Capullo. I yeah. love the man's art style. It's like a cross between Jim Lee and the animated series. Okay. It's oh. genius. It's so, so perfect. L let me uh, really pull this into you. Uh, if you haven't read Batman number five, and, oh my and, God. and you want to? Uh, I, at first, Andy was a little, uh, you know, not very receptive of this. I'm like, read this oh, issue, man. then read it again. Like, just yeah. The, the way it works out is it really immerses you into how it would feel to go into a psychosis for the longest yeah. time, and then that okay. I already just, have to. Just, just to well, Ace, we know this. But, uh, <laughs> when, when we uh, let, let's just cut to the chase. Let's cut to the topic of it. Is the bad I'll guy the in this one. The oh, Court of Owls Court of and Owls. Talon. Talon, you know, I remember, I think it was issue number two, we saw Talon for the first time. Yes. And uh, I was I was looking at him and I thought, oh God, that looks terrible. Because he looked, he, I mean, the Talon outside of the context of the Court of Owls is kind of a silly villain. Well, I, I saw him, I'm like, dude, that really? is something. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, of when, course. When when you learn more about him, he becomes yeah. a lot cooler of a villain. Scott Snyder is, I think, one of the best writers working in the business right now. Um, his work on Batman has just been on a whole other level. I really think that he could be the next Denny O'Neill. He is that good, and I, I you know Denny O'Neill is like the pinnacle of Batman writers for a lot of people. Nobody's ever been as good as him. Maybe Frank Miller, maybe Grant Morrison. But Danny O'Neill is the undisputed king. Yeah. I really think if this guy continues to be this good for this long, he could be the next Danny O'Neill. He's amazing. I, I can I can agree with that. Um, um, with Batman number six, which came out I think week before last. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll put it into context here. Is uh, when I asked you first about uh, Batman five, you know how Batman gives in to drinking the water and going psychotic. It, the first thing you say to me is, "My Batman could get out of that." There's no way he would yeah, give in. To yeah, that. you know, and, 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 that's reading, not my Batman. Reading, exactly, that's yes. not my Batman. Thank, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's not my Batman. That's not my Batman. Exactly. Um, and, and, yeah, and I'm reading it, and I'm like, "Oh, come on, Batman, you can get out of this. Where's your escape plan? And, where's your where, where's, where's your, your whole?" Bat pill and, and, and then here's what happens after he reads six. And Number he, six. I'm like, "Oh my good he, god!" He comes in. First thing I have to ask. I've got this this great grin on my face because I read it too, and I'm like, "This is awesome." I come in and just I ask, "So, is it your Batman?" And basically, he's just. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. If 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 anybody listening to this has not read the first six issues, when is the 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 collection coming? I think it's in April or May. Uh, I think it's about mid April. I can't. Mid -April? They're, they're breaking it, the trade paperbacks down into seven issues. I think six issues. Six the, first, issues. The, the first the first six, six, the first Batman six. one's going to be six. The first Batman and Robin one's going to be seven. The Batman series that they have done with this one, it. it captured my interest and it is is kept it with it especially with the talent being put into it I'm like, I've, not, I've not liked a bad guy so much 
uh, or wanted to see a guy get his butt, <laughs> oh my his God. ass beat. That, this, that, that bit at the end of Batman 6, uh, just where Batman just wails the hell out of him. When, when Batman gets his retribution on that one, just.